so defining methods in apex is pretty simple so method is simply uh, i would say set of instructions okay it will have instructions what you want to do in the code okay and what does a method contain so let's just understand what is the you know generic structure of a method so method structure basically ideally a method should have a name you'll have to give a name to the method the method will be identified by that particular name okay like method name can be one uh, m1 method one or whatever okay create account or whatever it is okay uh, it needs to have an access modifier which can be private public protected or global so what is an access modifier access modifier is something which would define where or from where the method is accessible got it so it, it basically defines the boundaries of the method but okay fine this method is going to be available only within this boundary or is it is available across my entire org or is it available outside my salesforce org also right from where can you call that particular method that is the access modifier so your methods need to have name your methods need to have access modifier okay so let's understand you know these are four possible access modifiers uh, which you can have let's understand one by one private so this is the default if you don't define anything by default method will be considered private what does it mean uh, this means that the method is accessible only within the class in which it is defined so private method will be accessible only within the class in which it is defined other classes outside that particular class it cannot be called public this means the method can be used by any apex in this application or namespace so public uh, method will be available outside the apex class also so from somewhere else also you can call that particular method from another class or from say your anonymous code block window from there also you can call that method right so that's a public method so it's available outside the class but within that application protected protected is i would say you know slightly a little bit of an extension of a private method so this means that the method is visible to any inner classes in the defining apex class okay so if there is a method say this is a class and this is a method and inside this there is another inner class okay now if it's a protected method it will be available to this class and the inner classes as well got it if it's a private method it will be available only to the class inside which it has been defined okay um now then there is this global access modifier now what is this global access modifier global access modifier means the method can be used by any apex code that has access to the class not just the apex code in the same application okay which means not just within your org from an external system also uh, you know this method can be called so primarily for integration purpose and all global methods are used correct so some other application has to actually make a call to this method and it has to be a global method got it so simple if there is a method that just needs to be called within the class define it as private method if you have inner classes inside that and you know those inner classes also need to access that particular uh, method then define it as protected if there is a method that will be called somewhere else within your salesforce or within your salesforce application some other uh, code block will call that method then define it as public if you want to use it for integration purposes other applications will also make a call to that then you will use it as global public is going to be very common uh, you know because most of the times whatever methods you write you will be calling it from you know other places uh, within salesforce okay so that's about the access modifier so your method should have a name it should have access modifier let's understand what else it should have it should have data type of the value returned by the method so when your method does whatever it is required to do uh, sometimes your method after for example if you if you just talk about a method which does a sum okay so after doing the sum what it will do it has to return the value of the sum right or if it does a multiply it has to return the multiplied value okay so sometimes your method returns a value there can be you know cases where it does not return any value but 
you have to mention what is the data type of the value which is written by the method so when you're defining the method that there itself you have to mention it for example this if you look at it public so this is the access modifier so this is a method you look at this public this is the access modifier okay which means this method can be called outside the class also string this is the data type of the written value which means this method will return a string get account name this is the method name okay method name can be anything whatever you want and uh, the you know these brackets are basically for you to you know do put any parameters for this particular method and then you know within the brackets you will have the code block okay uh okay there can be methods which do not return any value as i said you know there can be method which do not return anything in case your method does not return anything you have to define the method as void method so let's say there is a method which creates an account and does not return anything you would say public void so void means it does not return anything okay so that is the thing input parameters if there are no input parameters okay so in case you there are input parameters that you want to supply to your method which need to be used for, for your method you can define those in case there are no input parameters you just you know still need to define these brackets use a set of empty parentheses so this needs to be defined okay input parameters go inside this even if you do not have input parameters you at least have to define this okay while defining a method and finally uh, you know the body of the method the actual code within these braces yes that's something which is required all right so this is what your method should ideally have okay now if i have to so earlier you know we were writing you know some code in the anonymous code block let's say i just want to write public uh, I, I just want to you know define a method which will create an account record for me okay so i say public and it will return the id of that particular account so i say public id create account sorry yeah and then i would say account equals new account name equals abc insert a return a dot id okay now in case i say that no my uh, method will simply create account it will not return any value then what you could have done you could have made it a void statement uh, sorry a void return and in that case you don't need this return statement yeah so then it will only do this okay and if it has to return something then you have you should have a return statement at the end got it so simple way of understanding this that's all we'll discuss in this video thanks for watching for more videos in this series you can look for the link in description below or visit my website goodbye and take care